Hi everyone, thanks for stopping in today. I am just in the midst of rearranging my yarn stash. This is all yarn that I have gotten on clearance, Joann's, Hobby Lobby's, Michael's, Walmart. I think most of this is Joann. Um, holy mackerel. And this is only what came out of my little cubby area. I still have the bag that I just showed you in my last video. Um, oh my word. Up top there on my shelf that I just put up are all the yarns that I have made cakes out of. I am pretty sure that mostly and probably all of that was a uh, clearance yarn buy at some point. Uh, that is the little cubby that I just took all that yarn you just saw um, out of because I am rearranging and taking this <laughs> which is more clearance yarn that I have purchased and inside here is more oh wow you guys um, I still have some out in the loft on a couple of shelves as well so I think I have a problem um, I do believe, and in those four little bins that you see there, those are my little and, string um, Like I said, in these bins, that is my uh, string, and then these are my little um, nylon threads. Yes, and as you can see, I have made a few things with them, snoots, and uh, these are unfinished projects. So, I really need to get moving. Yes, I would. Oh, I almost said the F word. Yes, I freaking do. I really need to get uh, working because my yarn stash is out of control. I'm just going to take you around here. There is more. That's the bag I just showed you, plus the week before's haul. Um, this is another project that I started, I swear to God, I started this maybe two years ago. That's another project that I just started as I'm using my feet to point here. I think under that is another project that I have started. In this bin, I have got the little rounds that I have been making. Uh, that's another project that I'm doing with this yarn, and I'm gonna put it together with that yarn. Um, yeah. Oh my god, as I'm sitting here sorting stuff, realizing, wow, I get carried away. This is what I do. This is what I do. That's why I said I am the hoarder crafter. I am the one that will find the bargains and just grab them for that someday project. I think um, someday needs to get here real soon because I just saw what I have here. And I, I'm, like I said, this is not all of it. I still have two shelves and a filing cabinet out in the loft um, with more. Oh my gosh. And I have several, several bins. And when I say several bins, I mean a lot of bins with projects that have been started. Let me just um, breeze past my drum set here and um, show you what I'm talking about. Um, these are more variegated that I caked up uh, for use. Down there are more projects, there is more string art, and there's even more down at the bottom there. And my lighting is skipping out on me. These are all, this is a bin of scraps left over from uh, projects that I actually finished. So again, I'll be doing another scrap gan or scrap something, um, and then maybe I'll take you along for that ride too. It's just a conglomeration of different types of yarn. Um, I found these for like $1.25, 99 cents. I couldn't pass those up. I had projects in mind with them, and as you can see, they haven't gotten started yet. Uh, but I thought this was just a beautiful, beautiful fuchsia pink. It was 99 cents. Uh, this one was 99 cents as well, and I just love that color. But I've got an array of stuff. Um, these are very, very cool textured wool. And then these are my sparkly rolls. These are the ones with lots of sparkles. So, 
I'm not big on sparkles, but you know what? I couldn't pass them up. And then um, I do believe I have a couple more sparklies. Oh yeah, the ones I just showed you in the haul I just did. Um, I love these. I got a couple of those. I got this as a single, a single skein, but I could not pass up that color. It is absolutely gorgeous. And then uh, this was another one that I could not pass up that was absolutely beautiful. I think that was a Walmart find. I'm not 100%. Anyway, here we go. And this is just, oh, I'm embarrassed to say, this is just a small sampling of what I have around here. If you've ever seen that meme where the woman has uh, her yarn stashed up around her on the wall and she's got her little couch in the middle, that's what I could do with this. If I had my own craft room again, that's probably what I would do with all of this until I could use it up. Oh my gosh, as I was taking all of this out of the little cubby so that I could move it on that shelf over there and rearrange things. Holy mackerel. All right, everybody, thanks for stopping in. This was just a short and sweet um, yarn hoarding situation that we have going on here. I will talk to you all in the next video and hopefully in the next video I will show you things that I have made with all this craziness you see before us. Alright everybody take care and I'm just gonna pan over give you a glimpse of Miss Kitty in the spot of sunshine that she has managed to find there. Alrighty we will talk to you all in the next video. Take care everybody. Bye bye.